Hey there, Nadine here, Nadaroni. I'm going to make this short and sweet, seeing as how I spent practically 10 minutes last time doing this. Yeah, it, this is my second ever vlog, and I screwed up majorly. I accidentally changed um, the micro microphone's um, source, so bluff. Great. Anyways, it's 3.40 in the morning, and I'm just too excited. I need to get this down before I forget. There we go. Yep. See that right there? Yeah, right there. That right there, ladies and gents. Junko Mizuno art. Junko Mizuno was in Canada for the first time ever. And of course, I had to be there. So, I told everybody I could. And of course, Amy, seeing as now that she lives down there, she jumped on it. She knows how much of a fan I am. So, she wouldn't let me go down there by myself. Um. She was all for it too, like really, it's really cool shit. So yeah, like, we went down there, we planned to meet at Bathurst Station at 5.30 and then just get over there as soon as possible. Turns out, by the time we got there, it was minutes before 6, maybe about 5.50, there was a pretty decent lineup already starting to form there. So, we just got in line saw people we recognized. I took a couple of pictures of, you know, how far the line was at the time. And then they opened the doors early because they realized that there was a lineup pointing. So after six, they opened the doors. So the doors were supposed to open at seven. So more power to me. <laughs> um, saw my tattoo artist, Karen. Awesome chick. Sister Salvation. If you're ever in Toronto, look it up. Sister Salvation. Yeah, I'm pipping it. Tell them that Nadine sent you. Yeah. Um, she actually has a customized Junko tattoo on her arm of, um, let me see here. Yeah. She has that on her arm, but the hair, like, the hair's changed so it matches her hair with the blonde and then the black. Yeah. She got Junko to sign her arm just underneath it, and then she dashed out of there. Down the street, a couple doors down, there's a tattoo shop, so I'm guessing she probably went to go get that, you know, permanently inked on her arm, which is, like, fan-freaking-tastic. But then I found out, like, there's a couple other people doing that, too. Like, this one girl, when I went back in the line, because I went back in the line, she actually had Junko sign her ankle, and then went down and got it inked. And then there's another girl who had, oh gosh, I wish I could find that picture. She has a big old thing on her ankle, beautifully done. Uh, no, I don't think I can find it right now. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to find it. But yeah, she has a full calf piece, and it's beautiful. She got Joko to sign it, and people taking pictures is all crazy. But yeah, she apparently was going to go down the street as well and get that inked. Um, yeah, before I forget, I did get my book signed. If I was smart, I would have printed off that picture that I did of um, the phone geisha. Mm. This one. I would have printed that off and gotten her to sign it, or at least given it to her, because really, nobody gives artists art, and we really like to get art. We really do. But anyways, the biggest thing there for me was getting my cheek assigned. Let's pull back. Yep. Right there. She signed it. Mm -hmm. But that's not all. This I've never opened. So she was the first person to touch it. Like, really. Like, right there is a twist tie that she pulled off. Yep, she had to actually untie Chica so that way she can get to the back of her and sign the back of her head with gold pen. I'm not gonna take her all the way out because it's such a bitch to put in and out. But yeah.
see it right there. Yep. Got that signed. Never selling it. Ugh. It's such a rarity. And apparently you can get like all three of them on eBay for 50 bucks, but whatever. I don't know. I gotta wrap this up because apparently I still have my eye makeup on and I need to go to bed because, yeah, it's like rolling on to four in the morning. Yeah, um, I bought some blind boxes. Kid Robot, what? Mm. Yeah. Like, I met a new friend, Kate. She's like an acquaintance of Amy's, but like, she really wanted the kitty down here. Right there. Oh, right there. Oh, 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 oh. You see that? Yeah. But you have like a 1 in 40 chance of getting that, so really. But while I was in line, there was a girl in front. Her boyfriend picked it for her, actually. Um, she got the kitty. Of course, she wasn't going to trade that because everybody wanted the kitty. But, yeah. She ended up getting the panda. And this one. And something else. I think she got something else. I can't remember, though. Oh, yeah, the robot. She got the robot as well. She traded the little spider head baby for the panda. So, yeah. Me. The first... I got three, mind you. The first one I got was Umeko and Tate Takeko, the twin cybernetic nurses. Yeah, right there. Supposed to sit like that. They're adorable. Nope. All the blind boxes come with like a calling card. So, yeah. That's our card. Your info. The second one I got was just by chance because the girl didn't want it. She said it was like weird to have a rat, anyways. So um, as soon as I realized what it was, I'm like, if she doesn't want it, I'll buy it. It was the rat and the IV drip. Turn that around. There we go. IV drip. Wait, cool. You can kind of see the eyes. Yeah. Sheep like a bunny. Buddy, buddy, buddy. And here's its calling card. The rat and the bunny drip bottle. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, what's it? The third one I got. My... I think this is my favorite. Yeah. Seiko, the idol. So pretty. So pretty. I actually had to go back in line and get Junko to sign this. Like, there's no way I wasn't going to get her to sign this. So. Oh. Damn. Oh, there, there it is. Oh. Like, shit. Her hands actually move a little bit, too. So, yeah. And here's her card. Seiko. Yes, I understand. I have the webcam in, like, mirror mode. It's for my own sake, really. Um, it was awesome. Not much else I can say. I got the stuff signed. I got lots of pictures. When I get my cord, I'll upload them. Um, if you're wondering... I don't know if you can hear it because I haven't tried this yet, but if you can hear the music playing in the background, it's by hot new Canadian group, Lioness. Um, the song's called You're My Heart. Look it up. It's on YouTube. Yep. Um, 